Hey, what's up YouTube, it's ICU, and today we're going to be discussing new updates related to jailbreaking, specifically whether we're going to receive a new iOS 11.4 jailbreak based on some brand new information. Now, this is a continuation of my last jailbreak update video, which will be on the first link down below in the description, as well as in your cards right now. Also, if you want the wallpaper I'm rocking here on my iPhone 10, again, that's also found on the first link below. Also, be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you appreciate me properly breaking down the news for you guys and click that subscribe button to ensure you don't miss out when we cover new things on jailbreaking. All right, and the reason why I say this is a continuation is because like the last jailbreak update, this one is geared towards dispelling some new misinformation that's starting to spread throughout the jailbreak community. So what we're actually talking about here is a tweet that Min Spark Zing posted out a day ago. He is a senior security researcher at Alibaba who we've discussed several times on the channel. He's a really smart and talented individual, and he said the following, quote, iOS jailbreak internals escaping sandbox using callbacks on iOS 11.4, and he linked to his Weibo article on the subject, and he said more cases will be talked in DEF CON, which is a security research conference. Now, for those of you who don't know, in order to actually jailbreak an iOS device, you first have to escape the iOS sandbox. So every application is inside of a sandbox, so to speak, and that keeps it restricted and limited. It is, of course, Apple's walled garden, and it's their way of managing and maintaining the platform and its integrity. Well, in order to jailbreak, you need to start by running unsigned code. That is the very first step. You have to be able to escape the sandbox, so to speak. So run code that Apple hasn't officially approved. Because, of course, all of the applications that you download and install on your iOS device need to maintain that integrity and run with inside said sandbox. And in order to escape it, it requires that a vulnerability be exploited. So it appears as though that's what MinSpark Zing has done with iOS 11.4. He's discovered a new vulnerability that is exploitable to escape the sandbox. So some absolutely fantastic news. However, don't get your hopes up. This is not the key vulnerability that jailbreaks actually employ to achieve root access. Jailbreaks require something much more low level, a kernel exploit. Every single one does, and this is not that. Just because he does have a working sandbox escape, that's only a small fraction of what's needed to create a jailbreak. Not to mention we don't even have a new kernel exploit for iOS 11.4 to again achieve root access, which is essentially just the ability to write and make modifications to the entirety of the iOS file system. So we don't have that, and it's uncertain whether we will at any point in the future. As I've mentioned, jailbreak developers are most likely going to target iOS 12, and we likely will not receive a new jailbreak until after iOS 12. So again, this is a slight amendment to the past jailbreak update video I released. Nothing has changed. This does not actually speed up the jailbreak process anyway, or indicate that we are going to receive a jailbreak. It's merely one exploit that allows for a sandbox escape in iOS 11.4, nothing more than that. Of course, if anything changes, I will be the first to let you guys know. So be sure to click that subscribe button if you have yet to. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.